person who had to pre-grill unconsciously. So what we've done is you can put any tape, one or both sides, and when it's up and off, that's what you off. see. See how the light source is completely concealed? Yeah, you don't see it at all. No diodes. So what's the difference on the two, so just two different lights? Oh, that's different colors too. That's cool, the other one was warmer. A lot of jobs tend to value engineer the, the ability to create these, these coves or, or lower the ceilings because of the expense. So sealess becomes a great way to incorporate the, the crown cove without the construction expense. It's a crown molding channel that gets completely embedded into the space. It doesn't require any special framing that could be installed as a retrofit or in a new construction, and then give you that clean uh, crown look, but because it's so, it's gypsum, and once you blend it in, it just blends into the space. It doesn't it doesn't have a gothic look to it, right? It's a very clean line, and, and it's beautiful when it's off, because 99% of the time during the day, you're not gonna have these lights on. So you want it to look beautiful, right? And then at nighttime or whenever the space gets a little bit darker and you want to incorporate the indirect lighting, now you turn that on and people will say, oh, wow, I didn't even realize it was there most of the time. And that's that's the idea of the sealess crown post. There's also a wall ceiling flat version. So you can put an RGBW on one side. That's what I mean, and a white on the other. And white on the other, like a true, the true one. The white or something on the other side. And then you can run that, and then all you've got is that reveal. And because this is gypsum, you're cutting it into the drywall, it's becoming part of the drywall. Part of the drywall. Of course, we have the different you know accessories. So if you want to transition going right or going left, or transitioning from a wall uh, vertical application to an horizontal ceiling application. So we will make these little uh, connectors and also where we call an end cap. This is just a nice way to terminate the end so you don't get a harsh sort of glow of light at the end. You can you can stop the, the strip light, you know, maybe an inch or an inch and a half away from the edge and then it gives you just a smooth transition to the end where, you know, a lot of the channels that we see today, you just see a hot spot when you get to the end. Or if you cut the LED tape shorter on an aluminum channel, then you actually see a shadow or a dark spot. So we'll be able to you know, solve these, these problems with our channels.